Hi guys, uh, in my videos I'm trying to make all of my all of them as short as possible. So let's go ahead into what is relevant. So in this video we are going to solve or we are going to find the derivative of a function using the definition of limits. So the definition of limits says that in finding the derivative of a function we will have the limits of f of x plus h a uh, quantity x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. Okay, the linear my race. Again, the definition of limit says that limits of f quantity x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. Alright, so we are going to use this uh, definition in finding the derivative of this function. So, in my previous video, I have given you an example which has, or a function that has uh, one variable in it. So, in this example or in this video, I'll give you a function which has more than one variable in it. Okay, so, before we proceed, before we proceed in solving this one, shout out or thank you to Aidan Jos Pineda for having this question. So, shout out from Steam J, Aidan Jos Pineda. Alright, so let's try to solve this one. Let's go. In solving this one, based on the definition, it says that we are going to replace all the variable x with x plus h. Again, we are going to replace all the variable x with x plus h. So that is what we are going to do. So first, we simply copy the constant or the numerical coefficient. Okay, the numerical value, the constant. Ang sumayla in tao ganon niyo. The numerical coefficient simply copy. That is why we have 2 here. Then next is the variable. Variable x. So again, our definition says replace x variable with x plus h. So we have x plus h here. Then simply copy the exponent. Okay, whatever exponent there is, just simply copy the exponent. Okay, replace the variable with x plus h. Simply copy the exponent. Notice that I put it in a grouping symbol because... This, even though there are two terms in this inside of the grouping symbol, they work or they, rep they represent a one variable, which is this one, x. And also, it is very important to put it in a grouping symbol because you have a, an exponent here. So it denotes that, the grouping symbol denotes that the exponent is applicable not just to h variable, but on both terms, x and h applicable lang exponent. Okay, next, again, we have here uh, variable x. So, again, we are going to replace this variable x with x plus h. Again, replace this x variable with x plus h. Again, I put it in a grouping symbol because they represent one variable. Even though there are two terms, but they represent one variable. Then, simply copy the negative one. Then, our definition says subtract the whole term with the value of the, your function. The value of f of x. What is the value of this one? f of x. So the value of f of x is this one. 2x squared plus x minus 1. The value of f of x is 2x squared plus x minus 1. So we are going to put the value of f of x here. 2x squared plus x minus 1. I put it in a grouping symbol because we have a a negative sign here in the front of these three terms and it is very important because these three terms represent a single term also so that is why I put in a grouping symbol also because this one this sign negative sign will significantly affect no the sign and value of what is inside of this grouping symbol so it is very important to know when to use a grouping symbol all over h, simply copy the h, this as h approaches 0. So next, what we are going to do is to simplify or expand if there is a need to expand. Like for example, this one, we have a binomial term here. Okay, so we have a binomial, so we are going to expand this one first. So what is, how are you going to expand this one in your algebra? So in expanding binomial term, we simply... Uh, square the first term. The square of the first term. Makita pa ba sa itong video? Okay. Square the first term. X square plus. Multiply the, multiply the first and second term with 2. Multi <coughs> multiply the first and second term with 2. 
then 2xh, okay? Multiply the first and second term with 2. x times h times 2, we have 2xh plus the square of the second term or the last term. The square of the first and the second term or the last term. We have h square. Okay, so the expanded form of this binomial term is x squared plus 2xh plus h square. Okay, so what I have done here is ako na lang I tried to uh, directly multiply it with the numerical coefficient because our space here is limited. So what we have here is 2x squared from this one. x squared multiplied by 2 is 2x squared. Again, x squared multiplied by 2 is 2x squared. This one. Next is the 2xh multiplied by 2 is 4xh. Again, 2xh multiplied by 2 is 4xh. Next, we have the h squared. So, h squared multiplied by 2 is 2h squared. h squared multiplied by 2 is 2h squared. Okay? Then, sunod, plus x. Then, sunod, dili ma change ang sign within the grouping symbol because positive malang gihapon ang nag ang um, iyang preceding na sign. So, we have just copy the plus h, just copy the negative 1. Then, we remove the grouping symbol of these three terms. Then we have a negative sign before the, this term. So we have, in uh, removing the grouping symbol, we also, the, uh, the symbol will also change. So negative multiplied by 2x squared, positive 2x squared is negative 2x squared. Then negative multiplied by positive x is negative x. Negative multiplied by negative 1 is positive 1. Then just simply copy the h as h approaches 0. So what we are going to do here next is to try to uh, simplify this one and look for similar terms with opposite sign. Okay, as we noticed, uh, we have negative 2x and positive 2x squared. We can cancel out this one. Negative 2x squared and positive 2x squared can be cancelled out. Similar but opposite sign. We also have this one. Positive x and negative x. And negative 1 and positive 1. What else? Okay, so that's it. That's all the similar terms. So what's left is 4xh, this one, 4xh, plus the 2h squared, plus this one, h, all over h. This one, this is the simpl simplified form of this one. Next, we can simplify this further since we have a similar term or similar variables in our denominator and numerator. We have h here. We can cancel out this one. And we can cancel out this h with this one. So this is h squared. We still have one h left here. And we can cancel out this one h. So what's left is one in this, uh, this term. Okay, or pwede na po, no? Pwede na po i-factor uh, out nimo ang common aning h sa three terms niya. This one for xh, 2 square and h. Cancel out nimo ang h. Igawa sa h. Then cancel out. Iusa nimo cancel sa h. There is a denominator. Still the same result. Alright, so the uh, simplified form of this one is what's left will be 4x, this one, plus 2h, plus 1. Okay, na cancel out na to among h. So what's left is 4h plus 2h plus 1. Then as h approaches 0, as h approaches 0, it means we are going to substitute all the h variable with its given value, which is 0. So we have h here, we are going to replace it with 0. So we have 2 times the value of h, which is 0, is 0. So 2 times 0 is 0. So what's left will be 4x and plus 1. Alright, so this is our answer. So the derivative of this function, 2x squared plus x minus 1 is 4x plus 1. Okay? Is it clear or do you have any other questions other than what's on our GC? Again, pwede rin yung ikon sa GC or you can comment down below for your questions.
Uh, okay? So, ang medyo hardest part lang ini niya is ang kinilang pag-expand sa iyang binomial term. But the rest, pag simply, uh, simplify na lang. Dapat lang, mindful ka sa iyong mong simplify cancel out, kay basin masubran ang canceling out ni mo, marong ang iyong answer. That's it. How are you go uh, this is how are you going to solve or find the, the derivative of a given function with more than one variables in it using the definition of limits. Alright, so thank you for watching and I hope you have learned something. If you have again question, you can comment down below or try to message me on our GC. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again on my next video. Bye. Alright, in my next video, I'm going to make a how about if the constant lang, walay variables, no? Sa atong first video, na yung sa variables, sa next video, na yung two variables. Sa third na itong video about this one, how about kung walay variables? So I'm going to make a video of that one. I'll send it again on our GC. Thank you for watching again. Bye-bye.